Hey guys, welcome for a new video for Lost Ark. Today I'm bringing you a quick information about the destroyer and the new tripod system that is incoming. By the time that I'm posting this video, we're basically one month away for the implementation of the new tripod system. So a lot of people have been asking me about what they should get to prepare their destroyer being Rage Hammer or Gravity Training for the new system. And also after the system is implemented, what tripod they should get first to get the most potential or performance. Today I will be explaining that and a quick summary of what is going to happen with the new tripod systems is really simple. Every tripod that we have on our skill tree inventory is going to get transferred to the new systems. So we need to get prepared and we need to take that into account and get all the tripods that we need for our build to be already on a skill tree inventory. So for the Rage Hammer Destroyer, it's really simple. The Rage Hammer Destroyer damage is based on the damage that you can do with your purple skill. So the tripod for the purple skills are priority. And specifically, the perfect swing is your harder hitting skill. So these three tripods are your priority to get first weak point detection, absolute strength, and intemperance. After that, I would recommend you to get the full swing tripod, a scary hammer, and beast eye. And as a sixth tripod, you can get Earth and Rage for the Earth Eater skills. Now, if you want to complete all your build, you can go with Enhanced Stride after that one. Tenacity don't have any level of, for this tripod. The full swing, you have two options here. Agile Movement or Quick Preparation. I use Quick Preparation. It will get this tripod to max level because this fit better with my rotation. And for the last purple skill that is Seismic Hammer, you have Starving Strength as priority, Axel Strength after that one, and Tough Nef Body. Why Tough Nef Bodies? Because besides getting the new tripod system, we will also get a new Clans Balance patch. And in this patch, the Seismic Hammer have already worked on this tripod specifically. Tough Nef Body will be replaced for a tripod that will give more damage to the Seismic Hammer skill. And if our version of NA and EU works like the Korea version, every time that a tripod is deleted or in this case replaced, and if this tripod was level up, we should get a token and this token should let us to level up the new tripod that we will get. So for me, I have this tripod on my inventory, on my skill tree inventory. And when this tripod is replaced, I will get the token so I can level up ASAP the new tripod that will give more damage to the Seismic Hammer skill. For the blue skill, it's actually really simple. The only one that is priority for me is Healthy Mentality to get it at level 5. And to complete all the build, because remember, we have up to 18 tripods to set up on our build. You can get Anti-Gravity for the Endure Pain. If you are using Jumping Smash, you can get Superior Chance and Smash. For Dreadnought, you can use Tough Nef Body and Violent Hammer. And if you are using Power Strike instead, you can get Agile Movement, Armor Destruction, don't have any level, so don't worry about this one, and Elaborate Hit. And this is it for the Rage Hammer Destroyer. Now let's go with the Gravity Training. Okay, Gravity Training Destroyer is a bit complicated to explain. Like I said before, we don't have the balance patch yet when I'm posting this video. So you need to take that into account. I will tell you how to prepare for that. The gravity training destroyer, the new gravity training destroyer will do most of the damage using the hypergravity zone. And to build that hypergravity zone, you need to do damage with your purple skill, having three gravity cores every time. For this one, the perfect swing it is still the hardest hitting skill for the Gravity Training Destroyer. So these three tripods are priority. Weak point detection, absolute strength, and out of a slaughter. Out of a slaughter is the one that uses the Gravity Training Destroyer. The next tripod that you should get should be Seismic Hammer Tripods, Starving Strength, Absolute Strength, and like I said before, the Nef Body will be replaced for a new tripod for, the, for more damage. And if we have this tripod level up already or on our inventory, a skill tree inventory, we should get a token 
that should let us level up the new tripod to max level also. Now it comes the tricky part. This skill right here, one main army will be replaced for a new skill completely called Earth Wave. This Earth Wave have new tripods and we don't have anything yet on that skill. So what can we do to be prepared for that? We should get at least three tripods to max level, whatever tripod you want, quick preparation, wrecked hammer, weak point detection, superior hit or fatal hammer. Because when we get, like I said before, the balance patch and this tripod are deleted and replaced it, we should get three tokens this time. And these three tokens should help us to level up the new tripod for the new skills. So take that into account. Now, the last purple skill that we will use on the Gravity Training Destroyer is actually your preference. You can use Full Swing, Neutralizer, or Earth Eater. And all of this skill will get also one tripod replacement. This new tripod for every skill will give off more gravity meter. So we need to take that into account and we should get at least one purple skill, one additional purple skill with this tripod for more gravity meter. In the case of full swim, it will be absolute strength tripod. So I will have this one on my skill tree inventory at max level so I can get that token when the time comes and it will get replaced. And for the last tripod for full swing will be beast eyes and quick preparation or agile movement. If you are using neutralizer like I do, that energy tripod will be the one that will be replaced. And for the last tripod, it will go with growing gravity and gravity control. And if you are using Earth Eater as your fourth skill, absolute strength tripod will be the one that will be replaced. Tenacity, don't have any level on this tripod, so don't worry about it. And Earth and Rage will be your last tripod to get for the purple skills. On the blue skill side, the Endure Pain, Healthy Mentality Tripod is the one with most priority for me, like I said before. And if you want to complete your build with your 18 tripod, remember that we have 18 tripod to set up on our build, you can get Anti-Gravity for Endure Pain. With Power Strike, you can get Agile Movement and Elaborate Heat. With Dreadnought, you can get Tough Nef Body and Violent Hammer. And if you are using Jumping Smash, you can get Superior Change or Smash. And this is it, guys. This is all the information that I have to give you. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.